we're going to tie the uh, Matthews X Caddis. And I really like this fly uh, under warmer weather on the Mackenzie Willamette when we start getting uh, those blizzard caddis hatches. Uh, I'm going to use a light wire dry fly hook, a TMC 100 or 900 BL. I'm going to use a little Zelon for my tail and it can be olive or ginger and it can be really, I think the crinkly stuff might be what's called for. I think what I have here today is uh, straight, but crinkly or straight Zelon. The tail length needs to be roughly uh, one and a half times the gap of the hook. Um, and that's my little uh, Zelon or Antron tail. I'm going to wrap thread over this Antron or Zelon in order to just smooth that body out so it's even when I, when I dub up. I am going to then uh, come back and dub the body color that I want. And you can you can vary this. Like I'm using olive thread and I, and I tie this fly with an olive body um, in this case, but tan is really good, uh, brown is really good. Um, just kind of depends on the bug that you're trying to imitate. The one that comes up in the caddis, uh, the caddis hatch here on the Mackenzie is kind of a olive gray. I mean, really, it varies so much even within the hatch. You have quite a few um, varieties. Here is our, our body. And uh, I've got a little too much dubbing on here, so I'll pull that off. And a dry fly dubbing of some sort, I think, is important. A fine, a fine dubbing that's going to offer some flotation. I'm going to move up here and cover the hook shank with thread before I tie my wing in. Now, I think the wing, that selecting this hair might be one of the most important things. Um, and what I like is a short tipped deer or elk hair so that the the ends of the of the actual hair. I've got a lot of gray through here and then a very short tip. So compare it. Comparadon deer hair works really well. Um, nice yearling elk with fine tips works really well. But I want something that's going to flare a bit um, and and still and float great. I'm going to cut that down. Remove the under fur. Stack that hair in the hair stacker. Now we're going to uh, that hair evened up. I'm going to tie in my wing, and when I tie the wing in, I don't want it to go too much further than the body. So I'm going to measure that and grab it, and then cut it down, uh, and and that'll be my final cut on this hair. I won't have to cut it again. I lay that over the top, make my wrap loosely and now I can apply pressure straight down or straight up really holding that tight so that that doesn't spin on me and that's going to give me that little tuft of hair up front come up in front of that come back over the top back in front to, to cinch it down and that's my my wing and this fly sits really flush to the water and that that uh, shuck or the Zelon tail, uh, it um, really looks like that bug leaving its exoskeleton near the surface. So it's a killer floater, although it doesn't have hackle on it. It really stays just right in the film, and uh, the fish love it. I mean, this this X caddis is a favor on the Deschutes. It's a great spring Mackenzie um, imitation for this this coming week. I really look for this coming week for the for the caddis to get going when you get that 70 degree weather, 60 65 to 70. Uh, the X-Cadis will be a killer on the Laura McKenzie.